Hello guys and welcome to our YouTube channel Scratch Learners. In this video, we are going to discuss about the instruction word size in 8085 microprocessor. We have discussed about the classification of instruction sets in 8085 according to their functions. The data transfer, branching, arithmetic, logical and all those instructions were being classified based on their functionalities. Right. And here, this is a classification of instruction set based on the word size or rather we can say that based on the, the bytes occupied by the instructions. So if you don't know about the classification of instruction set in 8085 according to their functionalities then you can watch those videos and the link is given in the i button. So talking about the classification of instruction sets in 8085 according to the length of the instruction the 8085 instruction set is classified into three categories by considering the number of bytes occupied by that instruction. So there are three categories, one byte instruction, two byte instruction and three byte instruction. These are very easy to understand. So let's start with the one byte instruction. So as the name suggests, these instructions occupy only one byte and we know one byte is equal to eight bits, right? So, in one byte instructions, the opcode and the operand of an instructions are represented in one byte only. So, the opcode and the operand are being stored combinedly in one byte instructions. And these are some examples of one byte instruction. The first one is move C, a. That means it will move the content of accumulator into the register C. And I guess you know the meaning of opcode and operand. The opcode is the instruction name. Okay, these are the opcode. And what are operands? Operands are the parameters that are being passed. So these are the operands. And in 805, each instruction has a specific hex code. So now what is the use of that hex code? See, in 805, we can't write like move C comma A. The processor will not understand anything at all. Right. So all the instructions in 8085 are given input in hexadecimal so each instruction has a specific hex code so that the processor will be able to understand the instruction and the hex code of move c comma a instruction is 4f okay so, and this 4f hex data is of 8 bits that is 1 byte so while execution of move c comma a we only need to specify this 8 bit hex code so move C comma A is one byte instruction as here we are using only one byte and we don't need to remember these hex code. These are being provided by default. The next instruction is add B. So here the content of accumulator will be added with the content of the register B and the data that is the result of the addition will be stored in the accumulator and the hex code of add B instruction is 80. Okay, so here also both the opcode and the operand of the instructions are being represented by this one byte data only. So this is also one byte instruction. Then CMA is complement the content of accumulator. Okay, so presently if the accumulator content is A, then after execution of CMA it will be storing the data A bar. That means all the zeros will be converted into one and all the ones will be converted into zeros. And the hex code for CM instruction is 2F hex. Okay. So this is also one byte instruction. Here you can see both the operand and the opcodes are being specified in one byte only. Now the next instruction is the two byte instruction. So as the name suggests, these instructions takes two bytes of memory for their allocation. So in this type, the first byte specifies the opcode. And the second byte specifies the operand. Just take the example of MVI instruction. Here we are having MVI A comma 4F hex. MVI is move immediate. So the data 4F hex will be loaded into the accumulator. The first byte specifies the opcode that is the hex code of MVI instruction. And the hex code of MVI A comma some data is 3 E hex. So the first byte will be occupied by 3 E hex and the second byte specifies the operand. So here you can see the operand is 
फोर एफ हेक्स डेट मीन द सेकेंड बाइट विल बी ऑक्यूपाइड बाई फोर एफ हेक्स सो दिस टेक टू बाइट ऑफ मेमरी इन द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल वी हैव ए एन आई एफ जीरो हेक्स दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन इज यूज टू परफॉर्म द लॉजिकल एंड ऑपरेशन बिटवीन द कंटेंट ऑफ एक्मुलेटर एंड दिस डेटा एफ जीरो हेक्स जस्ट टेक इन एग्जाम्पल डेट द एक्मुलेटर कंटेंट्स ऑफ डेटा लाइक दिस एंड here we have the data f0 hex so if we write it in binary it will be 11110000 so here we need to perform and operation right so 1 and 0 is 0 10 is 0 00 is 0 10 is 0 11 is 1 0 1 is 0 11 one is 1 one, and 11 one, one is 1 one. so this is the data and it will be stored in the accumulator and why is it two byte instruction because the first one is the hex code that is the hex code of ani instruction is e6 and the second byte is the operand that means the data provided here okay the next instruction is ori62 hex so this is used to perform the logical or operation between the content of accumulator and this data 62 hex and why is it two byte instruction because the first byte will be occupied by the hex code of this instruction that is the hex code of ori is f6 and the second will be the operand that is 62 hex so here the two bytes are being occupied then the next one is three byte instructions right so here we need three bytes of memory for these types of instruction the first byte that is the first eight bits will indicate the opcode okay and the next two bytes specifies the 16 bit address till now we have seen that the operand was an 8 bit data but in three bytes instruction the operand is the 16 bit address so see here the lower order address that is the lsb is represented in the second byte and the higher order address that is msb is represented in the third byte you will be able to understand this with the help of these examples okay so the first instruction is lda c050 hex and we know this instruction is used to load the data from this address to the accumulator so in memory let's say we are having various memory locations and at some location c050 hex we are having a data let's say 01 hex so on execution of lda this data 01 hex will be stored into the accumulator and why does it require three bytes as the first byte will be opcode so the opcode of lda instruction is 3a and the second byte will be lower order address just see here we are having two bytes the first one is this and the second one is this right so the lower order this is lsp and this is msb so the lower order address will be represented in the second byte that means we will store 50 hex and then the msb will be stored in the third byte so c0 hex so in this way this instruction occupy three bytes of memory then the next one is jmp instruction this is unconditional jump we have already discussed it while discussing about the branch control instructions right so on its execution the program counter will jump from a specific location to the address 4100 hex so what are the three bytes required the first one will be the hex code that is c3 here and the second one will be the lsb that is 00 hex and the third one that is the third byte will be occupied by the msb 41 hex so this is also three byte instruction then the last one is stga instruction this is used to store the content of accumulator into some memory location so whatever 8 bit data is been present in the accumulator will now be stored in the address d400 hex here also the first byte will be occupied by the operand that is in this case 32 hex then the second byte will be the lsp 00 and the third one will be the msb that is d4 so this was all about the instruction sets in 8085 but if you are having any doubt in this video then please ask in the comment section
we will discuss about the implementations of these instructions and all the assembly language programs of 8085 microprocessor in the next video so see you in the next video thank you